It's been another year to remember on the Ladies European Tour and it all started down in South Africa where local girl Leanne Pace clinched her 10th LET title at Westlake Golf Club. And for a record fourth time, Leanne Pace has won her national championship. She is the Investec South African Women's Open champion. To Italy, and an 18-year-old wrote her name into the record books. Lucy Malcheron, joining the likes of Steph Kiriakou, Ataya Titikun, and Lydia Ko by winning a tournament while still an amateur. From one teenage winner to the next, 17-year-old Pia Babnik taking the title at the Jabra in Evian in what was just her 12th start on tour. Then something a little different, and the men and women's European tour came together for a mixed event. Alice Hewson almost took the title, but in the end, Jonathan Caldwell got his hands on the trophy. Then it was the turn of yet another teenage talent on the Ladies' European Tour to take the limelight, Ataya Titikun. The Thai taking the Czech and her third LET trophy just outside of Prague. Holland and 2020 Rookie of the Year Steph Kiriakou fired a bogey-free 67 to take the title. Her first as a professional following her amateur win in her native Australia last year. London and the first Aramco Team Series of the Year. A familiar face shone in the individual event. Marianne Scarpnort with the winning putt. It's a champagne moment for the Norwegian while Olivia Cowan produced something a little special to fire her team to the title. Yay! Yay! That's inside 10 feet, Olivia Cowan. The Aranko Team Series London goes to Team Cowan. The best of buddies with Dick Shadagger and their amateur Andrew Kelsey. There was a crucial win for Matilda Kastrin in her home event in Finland, securing a spot in the European Solheim Cup team. Evian, and a week to remember for Minji Lee, the Australian clinching the first major of her career. Northern Ireland, and the trophy headed in one direction in Ballymena, straight into the hands of Pajari and Anarukan in the co-sanctioned event. The Soto Grande and the Aramco series and a return to form for Alison Lee. Alison Lee is on the rise again. Her first time to Spain and it's proved to be a winning time. Her first professional victory. While the team event, as ever, didn't disappoint. Wonderful, wonderful! <laughs> the Aramco team series, Soto Grande goes to Team View High in a playoff. Scotland, the home of golf, and in an event co-sanctioned with the LPGA, there was a win at last for Ryan O'Toole, just edging out Titikun and Co. But the long road to victory ends in Scotland for Ryan O'Toole, and here comes the champagne. Major time and Anna Norquist's time to shine. The Swede taking her third major title at Carnoustie. Back to Sweden for some back to back events and time for yet another young player to announce themselves on the European stage. What a way to begin your professional career. Her debut as a pro on the Ladies European Tour and it's a victorious one for Pauline Roussan Bouchard. While in Aarhus, a stark reminder of the talent coming from Sweden. The 21-year-old has won the Creek House Ladies Open, has won her first LET event. She's won on the Access Tour, and now she's won with the big girls. Then the big one, the Solheim Cup, and it delivered a display of golf that got the huge galleries roaring. The Americans did what they could, but it's Katrina Matthews' team who became just the second European side to win on US soil. And she's got a brilliant putt. What a performance. 
and Europe will retain the Solheim Cup and the celebrations begin. Switzerland and Attire Titikun once again turned in a masterclass. Starting the final round four shots back, 66 took her to her second trophy of the season. She doesn't miss those. Another superb round of golf from the runaway leader of the race to Costa del Sol. To wine country in France and a vintage performance from one of the European Solheim stars, Celine Boutier, her third L.E.T. title. Back to the beach next and back to the winning circle for Maya Stark. Let's put the icing on the cake. What a round of golf that is from Maya Stark. Back in just 30 shots for the round of the week, a 65-8 under par. The Big Apple, and once again time for a European to win on American soil. Charlie Hull, a final day 65 to take the individual event. While it was Jessica Corder who shone brightest in the team playoff. Hasn't gone in the hole, but it's a, a guaranteed three, and that heaps the pressure on Sophia Popoff. So close. How did that stay out? Well, it does mean that it's team Jessica Corder who takes the Aramco team series in New York. The floodlights were a little brighter in Dubai, and Bronte Law took center stage. Oh, it's another brilliant shot from Bronte Law. This is some performance from the Englishwoman. It's her time to shine under the lights in Dubai with her first ever Ladies European Tour victory. The final Aramco event of the season and Lydia Ko proved to be a class apart in the first week in Saudi Arabia. Lydia Ko playing like a kid again. She's blown them away in Saudi Arabia. Two titles still to come at Royal Greens, and Pia Babnik clinched the individual glory and her second title in the individual event. Well, what a player she is, and is she heading for a second Ladies European Tour title of the season? 17 years young, the teen sensation from Slovenia. But there's only one undisputed queen of the desert, Emily Pedersen, retaining the team title. Pedersen does it again in Saudi Arabia. Team Pedersen have won the Aramco Team Series. And so to the season ender and the Andalusia Costa del Sol opened at Espana. And in keeping with the season, it didn't disappoint. It's the one that's missing from the resume. Carlotta Siganda. the realisation of a dream for Carlotta Seganda, the Spanish Open champion of 2021. The season, though, belonged to Ataya Titikan, the brightest young star in golf and the race to Costa del Sol champion. It's been a wonderful year. What stories will be written in 2022?